it seems we're back in the white space. Prepare for anomalies. But anywho, hello everyone, this is Haruka. And welcome back to Shadow Generations. In the last episode, I believe we fought the Bio Lizard, and apparently it wasn't meant to look that suggestive. But look at this! We got a new power! Alright, Shadow. Prepare to experience pain again. No, seriously, every time I see this animation, it feels like Shadow is being absorbed by the Venom symbiote. Surf's up, dude! I was kidding! It's literally called the Doom Surf! Very well, then. Shadow can now move across water with this little... What, what would you call this? A little squid companion. But we can surf on water like we're in Sonic Riders all of a sudden. But anywho... I wonder what kind of stage they're going to pull from Shadow's past this time. Okay, what do you mean? What do you mean? I haven't played Sonic 06 myself, but I know about Kingdom Valley because it's one of the better set pieces from that game. But wasn't Kingdom Valley, correct me if I'm wrong, retcon from, from Sonic Cannon? So did Sonic 06 actually happen, or did it not happen? Make up your mind, Sega! Anywho, apparently Kingdom Valley is one of the stages from Shadow's past, even though it was retconned. Eagle. Okay, explain this to me. In a world of anthropomorphic animals that can run at the speed of sound, we also have hyper-realistic animals such as the eagle friend back there. Again, to quote myself from the last episode, God damn, this series is wild! I mean, next thing you know, they might bring in Big the Cat for some reason, even though he hasn't been seen in a mainline Sonic game since Adventure. Oh, and by the way, for those of you wondering where Sonic Adventure Chaos Edition has been, it has not been working with me. No, seriously, Final Egg and the Super Sonic campaign have been the worst to work with. Extremely uncooperative. But then again, it's a modification for a 16-year-old uh, game. Of course it's going to have bugs. I was joking. Why are you here, you lovable son of a bitch? No, seriously. Big, I need an explanation as to why you're here. Hello. Your name's Shadow, isn't it? My name is Haruka, but we're playing as Shadow. And what do you mean we lost the fr- He smiled! That was adorable. Ah, whatever. It's good to see you, you lovable son of a gun. Anywho. Huh. Now this stage I'm sort of familiar with. My boyfriend Potato Coon tells me that this stage is from Sonic Forces. But wait, if this takes concurrent between Sonic's portion of Generations and where Shadow's been, how does Shadow know what this stage is? Are we going to see Infinite? Well, if we get to beat him up, then I'm okay with that. But anywho, quite the odd stage pull to see here. First Kingdom Valley, and now Sunset Heights. Although I will admit, Sunset Heights really does have a good aesthetic going for it. You know, considering the plot of Sonic Forces. Haven't played the game myself, but I've seen Potato Coon play it, and he did not like it. But anywho... No, seriously, are we going to see Infinite? Or are they saving that for a DLC, The Return of Infinite? You know, I just gave Sega an idea. Easy money. I will expect my check in the mail sometime soon. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't even hold down a job. What am I talking about?
Maria. Thank you, Shadow. Where did you learn to fight like that? They must be from a point in time before the Ark disaster. Perhaps I can change their fate. Shadow? You look grim. Are you all right? I'll be fine. We'll all be fine. Find somewhere safe to hide. I'll take care of everything. Hmm. Holy flaming torch tits! Gerald and Maria are alive! Huh. I don't know how to feel about this, considering, uh... Wouldn't this be a time paradox? Oh, who am I kidding? It's good to see Shadow surrogate father and sister alive. Oh, and I am just reminded of what happens to Maria. Oh, Maria Robotnik, you sweet summer child. I apologize deeply for what's going to happen to you in the future. But anywho, Gerald and Maria are alive, and now it's time to find the boss of the area. Which means, challenge act filler bullshit! So you know what that means, I'll be back. All right, so what kind of boss are you going to pull from Shadow's history now, Shadow Generations? I recognize this track, oh my god. I don't care what you're thinking as you turn to me. Cause what I have in my two hands is enough to set me free. I can do it. Ah, oh, crap. I don't remember the rest of the lyrics. But Metal Overlord! So that's a peculiar change to pick from, because Shadow did not fight Metal Overlord. You're about as the true Sonic as Sonic.exe is, which is to say that you are a false. Oh, Shadow talking trash. Shadow talking trash! I like it. But if I recall correctly, Shadow did not fight Metal Overlord. That was more Sonic Tails and Knuckles' thing. But oh well, we gotta prove how badass Shadow is, and I won't deny him that, because you know, he's Shadow the goddamn Hedgehog. Resident Latino Lover! And people have run that joke into the ground, and I'm going to I'm going to contribute to that because it's funny. Anywho. If I recall right, we just have to hit Metal Overlord in his obvious weak spot, and then we win the fight. And we get to use our new ability, because... Do you mean you no-sell Chaos Control? Well, that's not fair. Anywho... Did you say stop screwing around? No, that's my job. Uh-oh. Ah, persistent jumping to avoid the bullshit. Why, thank you, Metal Overlord. I appreciate you. Except I don't, you loathsome copy. I will be dropping you into the sea soon enough. Have I mentioned that this set piece is amazing? I only wish the original boss fight was like this. Playing ping pong with a goddamn robotic dragon. I had forgotten that Metal Sonic had turned himself into this. And apparently, according to research I've done on this, this is meant to be a reference to Leviathan. You know, Biblical Leviathan. Have I mentioned how insane the Sonic franchise is? Because if I haven't... Yo, that's big talk coming from a big pile of scrap. You know what, Metal Sonic? You can quit sucking your own metallic dick at this point and just, you know, die. You can die at any time, good sir. Ironic, says the imposter. Right on, kick! 
was joking. And then the metal go boom. Supreme victory! Although I could have gotten an S rank for that if I was a few seconds short. Ah oh well, pretty cool. to the symbol in the sky. It's the same tinkle as my new abilities. It is the power of Black Doom. Grandfather? I made a Faustian deal with that monster to create Shadow. Now it seems that we all have to pay for my sins. So my powers, that symbol, they're all connected. Maria's illness couldn't be treated on Earth. I could better manage her condition on the Ark, even if her family didn't like the idea. I attempted to develop the ultimate life form as a means to find a cure for Maria. My own experiments reached their frustrating limit. So when that alien warlord reached out to me, Offered the miracle of chaos control, I accepted it. Through his DNA, the ultimate life form was born. Black Doom wanted me to make the perfect warrior for him, so these new abilities are all part of his grand design. You two are linked by blood. As you grow in power, so does he. He will either take control of your mind and make you his ultimate weapon, or take over your body and be reborn in you. Huh. You made me the ultimate life form, Professor. Black Doom is a fool. I'll take this power and use it as my own. So I was right in my estimation of the last episode. Shadow really is a hedgehog alien hybrid. Got that alien blood in his veins! But anywho, I think we've done enough for one episode. That said, however, if you lovely folks enjoyed this episode of Shadow Generations, please do leave a like and a comment to let me know, and maybe subscribe while you're at it, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, my darling subjects. <laughs>